Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I'm going to show you how I did this look today using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. So if you're interested, keep watching. with foundation. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, but the Sonia Kashuk one is great too if you don't want to use one that's owned by a parent company that tests. I'm going to go ahead and buff that in my face using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for that. And just kind of blend, 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 and kind of use like a stamping motion and then blend out. Just buffing it in. And I want to make sure I get really close to the hairline with that as well so there's no like line of demarcation. I love this foundation for my dry skin. It just gives me a really luminous look. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go in with concealer now. I'm using my Pixi Correction Concealer, which is great if you have dark circles because it's kind of like a peach corrector. And I did not get enough sleep last night, so this should definitely help. Now I'm going to go in with Too Faced Cocoa Rose as the blush. I think this is discontinued, but if you would like to, you could just use any kind of muted, mauve purpley blush. For my highlight, I'm using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow, and I'm actually going to put it kind of around my eye on my orbital bone, instead of just on the cheekbone. And then down the center of my nose, and also I'm going to use my finger to put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now for bronzer, I'm going to go in with a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is a little dark for contouring for me. I think the milk chocolate would work a little bit better. So I really have to make sure that I buff it in so it looks natural on my fair skin. But it's a beautiful bronzer. So we're going to go ahead and buff that all in. Next I'm going to prime my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I get under my eyes as well because we will be putting eyeshadow there. For my brows, I'm just going to go in with Cashmere Bunny from the Too Faced palette. Do your brows however works for you though. It's all very individual. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them in and just kind of comb them out a little bit. Next I'm going into the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, Real Techniques brush and go into this eyeshadow called Heaven, which is a beautiful matte white for my highlight. This might be kind of light if you have a pretty deep skin tone, so you can go in with Nude if you'd like to. Now on the lid, I'm going to go ahead and press Push Up in, which is probably my favorite color in the shadow, or favorite shadow in the palette. It's a little bit darker than it appears in the pan, but it is just absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to take a teeny tiny brush and go into this shade here called Silk Teddy. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the inner corner to just bring some light in. And I'm also going to line kind of the lower lash line on the inner half with that just to make my eyes look more open and bright and awake because I did not get enough sleep. Then I'm going to go ahead and buff nude into my crease and then put a little bit more defined crease in with Cashmere Bunny which is a little bit darker matte shade. Now I'm going in with Sexpresso which is another matte shade in the palette and I'm going to really carve out my outer V with that and bring it about halfway into the crease as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and line my lower lash line on the outer half with that. And then I'm just going to clean up with Silk Teddy, whatever kind of got a little bit muddy with that darker shade. Now I'm going to go ahead and buff everything out with a clean brush. This one is by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going in with Honey Pot. You can skip this step if you like, but I think it makes a really cool little pop to just put it a little bit above the crease. And then for my eyeliner today, I'm using the Physicians Formula Liquid Eye Booster Liner in black. And it is so nice for getting into the inner corner and making like really tight lines. And I'm doing just a tiny little wing. Then for my waterline, I'm going in with a Hard Candy Stay In Line uh, black eyeliner. And I'm going to go ahead and do my tight line too. Yes, you shouldn't pull on your eyelashes, but it happens. For mascara, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner or Mega Volume today, um, and I'm actually applying false eyelashes as well. For the lips, you can go in with any color, but I actually want to go in with this kind of bright red called Milani Red Label because I'm going on a hot date with my husband, so I want to look really well done. But since this is a neutral look, you could put any lip color with it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the lines with a lip brush. You can skip this if you don't need it, but I think it just makes red lips look a little bit more defined and absolutely beautiful. 
Now I'm gonna set everything with my e.l.f. mist in set spray and that is the whole look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did give the video a thumbs up, you can subscribe so you won't miss my next video. And if you'd like to see my family every day, you can subscribe to my daily channel which is Sudden Kim Pact or my parenting channel which is Heidi Kim TV. They'll be linked down below. Bye guys. I wanted to do a review for you guys of the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Um, I bought this for myself for my birthday. I was between getting this and getting the chocolate bar palette. To be honest, looking at the chocolate bar palette, it just didn't seem that appealing to me.